So this ex-pro wrestler turned security guard disarmed this gunman at a Tampa strip club to prevent a mass shooting. So if you're one of those guys who like to go to these strip clubs, you gotta be careful because it seems like this, the lunatics are now headed to strip clubs trying to shoot people. Crazy, right? So a brave security guard likely thwarted a mass shooting when he intercepted a deranged gunman wearing a devil mask who was trying to enter a pact Tampa Strip Club early Sunday morning. Manny Resto, former pro wrestler turned doorman, intercepted Michael Rudman, 44, as he tried to force his way into the Mons Venus with a 9mm pistol and a flashlight, because we showed a flashlight, at about 1.15 a.m. Security guard says, I saw him raise his hand and he had a gun. Resto 55 said during a press conference. We'll listen to some clips from the press conference. I saw him point it toward the door and decided that he was not going to enter the club and hurt anybody. Resto, who was once known by the ring name, the Puerto Rican Punisher. I like that name, the Puerto Rican Punisher. Sprang for the gun and sparked a full on brawl with the masked Redman. It was captured on the club security cameras. So let's check this video out because I think this is insane what happened. All right, so let's break this down properly. Starting from the front, everybody's out there, chilling, and here he comes. Now he's wearing like this red shirt. He's going for the door. Now the security guard at this point does the right thing. He grabs right for the gun, right? He's going right for the gun. The fight ensues. Now this guy is trying to pistol whip him with the gun. So you see he has the gun in his hand, and he's trying to hammer, he's luck. the security guard is lucky, the guy just doesn't try to shoot him, but he's trying to literally hit him with the gun. And that's what they always teach you. When a gun, you want to close the distance. You charge a gun, but you run from a knife. Even later. But I charged him. I charged him and so did Chuck, if you notice. I taught him well. You charge a guy, always charge a guy with a gun. With a knife, you run away. Yeah. Run away from a knife. So you charge with a gun, with a knife, you run. That's right. Ah! Knife close quarters, you run. Gun, you charge. And that's because you need distance for a gun. Guns are range weapons. So the security guard did the right thing. You want to get as close as possible because it's harder to shoot somebody when they're wrestling with you versus if you have maybe a couple of feet away. Now the gun falls here. Check this out. You see where the gun literally, the security guard last slaps the gun out the hand. And now this guy, he can't find the gun because he's in a fight and the mask is on. Now, the security guard does the right thing and hits the mask because now when the mask is all messed up, you can't see because the mask has to be on a certain way for you to look through the eye holes. So when he hits the mask, now the guy's lost sight and now he's just fighting blind. See? And now he's falling. And his pants are coming down too. So this, this guy was just idiot day. Pants is coming down and everything and he's just about to hit the floor. Security guard runs back and picks up the gun. Doesn't cock or anything. Now, interestingly enough, he has the gun on the guy, and the attacker does the same thing the security guard does. He charges the gun. Now, this other guy comes out, and watch this. He just looks at them. He just kind of looks at them. Like, he comes out. He should be, you know, that's his guy. His guy has a gun on the other guy. And he's going to walk past him and just watch the guy <laughs> rush him. But now the security guard is the one doing the pistol. <laughs> he, he has the gun. Look at this. Look at the, the security guard. So the guy charges him. The security guard doesn't want to shoot him. This is like really, really clown stuff. Look at this. The security guard doesn't want to shoot him. So the guy rushes the security guard. His friend doesn't even do it. Just, just watches this. And the attacker's pants, oh, look at him. They're down by his ankles. Look at that. His pants are falling. So now he, his, he can barely move. Pants are falling down. He's going down, and he's, but he's lunging for the gun. Yeah, look at that. His pants are almost all the way down. Now, the security guard still has the gun. The guy hits the floor on his knees. Mask is all messed up. And the security guard, you see, he starts beating him with the gun. Now he's pistol whipping him. Now the guy's down. He's still getting pistol whipped. And everybody's now jumping on his back, and he's, he's done. He's done. Pants down below his, on, his, on his knees, mask all messed up. He's still kicking him. <laughs> Damn right. Waiting for police to come. 
Oh, wow. That's horrible. Now, the gun actually went off once during the one minute long struggle, but the round only hit the club's door, so he was actually able to get a shot off. There were about 200 people inside the club during the confrontation, but no one was hurt. Thank God. Cops found two more loaded magazines in Redmond's pocket. Wow. So this guy was coming to, to do some real damage. In his truck, they found nine knives two holsters, and loose ammunition. This guy had a criminal pass for a domestic violence battery, reckless driving, DUI. But none of that, the domestic violence battery and reckless driving, would make you think that he was going to go and shoot up a strip club. He also had an active risk protection order out due to his mental state. So this guy had some type of mental issues, it looks like. Now, back in October of last year, seven people were shot and one was killed in a bar fight in Tampa where the suspect actually fled the scene and, and got away. So they were looking for him. But, you know, this seems to be something that just recently happened in Tampa. Now the good people of Tampa had this next incident happen, but thank God that it was able to be stopped and this hero security guard was able to prevent anyone else from being hurt because this guy obviously he's coming with extra clips and all this stuff because he wanted to do some real damage i wasn't going to let this happen i was not going to let him win he was not going to hurt nobody resto says he's been an mma fighter and a professional wrestler but this was the fight of his life everything a lot of things are fuzzy because i got hit in, in, in the head quite a few times by the gun and he also had a flashlight as well on the other hand interim tampa police chief lee burkaw says resto and other members of the mons venus security team likely stopped a mass shooting first thing that came to my mind is what happened in orlando at pulse and having these two here to take that heroic action could they have prevented something like that i, I definitely think so okay this guy is an absolute hero he prevented, obviously, a mass shooting from this strip club in Tampa, Florida. But my only issue is that they should have had some type of firearms. There's no way that you should be at the door checking for firearms and not have a firearm yourself. Because, like, in this case, the person with the firearm came and he's the person in control. You know, you got to essentially wrestle a guy with a gun. And that is not feasible in all these situations. He just happened to be close enough where he was able to charge the guy. But if this guy came shooting then they're all at a disadvantage. You, you need to be able to respond to things like this. But let me know in the comment section how you feel. My name is Nate the Lawyer, and I'll see you next time.